Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today in the sight of God and in the presence of these witnesses to join together Tony and Caitlin in holy matrimony. Anthony, I've prayed for today and for my future husband before I even met you. I've prayed for your heart that it would be taken care of with minimal wounds before I met you. Galen, when we started dating nine years ago to this day, I had no idea of the journey God was setting before us. I knew how special you were from the moment I met you. I prayed for your success, for your health, and for your continued strength and faith. At the same time, I prayed that my heart would be locked away until I met my husband. Imagining my high school sweetheart as my wife seemed unrealistic. However, every obstacle we faced or phase of life that seemed unlikely we would come out of the other side together, we grew stronger. We conquered new experiences like entering college and difficult times like being long distance. When I prayed nightly for my heart to be locked away, I never imagined that it would become someone's at such a young age. You've had my heart for nine years. You've cared for it. And like I would have ever hoped, thank you for patiently loving me. Every ounce of love and effort I put into our relationship never felt like an obligation. Having you in my life makes every sacrifice worth it. You helped my faith grow immensely and shaped me into the man I am today in more ways than you would ever know. Because of you, I've grown even closer to Christ. You embody patience. Your motives are always pure. Your spirit is so gentle. You love and desire to forgive. You have loved the Lord and trusted His timing and plan, even when we didn't want to. It shows me only a fraction of Christ's immeasurable love, peace, and patience. You make me want to strive to be better and more Christ-like. It is for this that I've known that we are set on a path to love one another daily for the rest of the time that God keeps us on this earth. Now I get to officially have you as my wife, partner, and best friend forever. I vow to always keep God first in our lives. I vow to keep God at the center of our household and raise our children to love Him. So from today on, I promise to support your dreams and hopes and encourage them as if they're my own. I promise to put Christ first. I promise to care for you and I promise to submit to you as I do the Lord and to give the respect that you deserve. I vow to love and pursue you every day for the rest of our lives. I vow to, use, to support you in any and all things that you aspire to do. I vow to provide for you, our children, and our dogs always. I love you, Caitlin, and I vow to love and cherish you forever, Anthony. I can't imagine a greater privilege than getting to be Mrs. Davis and cherish your heart for all of my life. I love you more than you can ever know, Anthony. For as much as Tony and Caitlin have consented together in holy marriage and have witnessed the same before God and this company, I now pronounce that they are husband and wife together. Those whom God hath joined together, let no one put asunder. Tony, you may kiss your bride.